All righty, uh, we got some extra apples and stuff, and we're going. My wife's going to can them, start canning them later. Now I've got one of these. Uh, okay. Uh, thank you. An apple peeler. It's got like a. Anyhow, I've took the. I put it on my. I've got a cherry. Uh, uh, dining room table, and I put it on it, and uh, this right here is supposed to tighten it down to hold it, which if it don't, if it don't hold it good, I've used it before there, but I always use this. I don't know if I can, uh, I'll have to scoot it over farther if I end up using that, so. Anyhow, I got, uh, got probably at least twice this many apples, maybe Maybe three times all together, twice at least. But we're gonna, I'm going to use this automatic uh, uh, peeler, apple peeler. And I've got this going under it. I've got my tablecloth pulled back so I can get the, the juicy stuff too much on it. Cause it I've got me a little bucket down here to catch the, catch the peelings. And I'll show you how this thing works. You take an apple just like this. Let me show you first. Uh, it's got a switch right here. You pull back on before you start. You put your apple in like this and try to put it straight toward the core. Tail of the core comes out toward this circle here. This is adjustable. Uh, this thing right here is adjustable in case it gets a little bit off and it's sharp. Uh, it peels that uh, core out. This is the core right here. It takes the core out of the apple. And uh, there's a switch. Uh, it's the spring loaded. And uh, when the, and when the apple turn, this catches this part of the apple. When that apple turn like that, and it peels the the peeling off the apple. I'll show you. So this is the first one, so you'll see what we're talking about. I don't even have to take the stem out of it. Just try to get it pretty well straight. All right, you'll see what I'm talking about. <laughs> Watch this. Apple peel the apple. Plus it will, uh, you pull it like that. I take the parts got the, you see what I'm saying? I usually put it over in a, a pan with water. Got a little bit of lemon juice in it. And uh, it will keep, keep it from, the lemons will turn on a little bit. I mean, uh, excuse me, the apples from turning a little bit brown before we get them all together here. You have to twist this, get it all, put it, throw it down in the, in, the, in the bucket. Those will end up going outside to the birds and stuff. So let's get us another one. We'll do a few of them, then we'll talk some in a minute about what we're doing. Put the main part's got the stem back toward the DC. You have some juice drips off of it, and pay you to have a, we pay you to have a napkin or paper towel or a dish rag or some old rag or something ready. And I want to tell you something else. If you got a little place on the apple like it's getting a little place on it like it's getting too ripe, sometimes this will skip. You have to back it up a little bit and then it'll go forward again. See what I'm saying? Pull back, pull off down to where the, you don't have any more hide on it, put it right on in there and we're ready for another one. Have to watch this right here, it's a little bit sharp. Alrighty. I usually keep mine a little bit clean as I go, you know. Oh, I got a big ribbon this time. Remember you got a button back here to push? You pull this all the way back. It'll take a pretty good size apple so you can see that. And, it's going to take that. All right, watch this. I'll do a few of these and then we'll uh, do a little break on it. All right. See? All right, got my son Ben helping me, me uh, uh, cut them up a little bit over here. So drop them back in the, in the water. It's got some lemon juice on it. So when it goes in there to... His mommy for canning, they'd be ready to put in the jars. We do uh, work together sometimes doing some of this stuff, so anyhow. 
something like this, you can't use that. It's got a little bit wrong place on that apple. You can't use that because it'll be squashed all over the place. All right, let's get this one off. Get in the bucket. Let's get this one ready. Let's, let's do it again. Let's see what we got. All righty. Got that one. She's trying to get the kitchen cook while I'm in the kitchen. I'm doing a tape. Don't be screaming on it. <laughs> I'm video on this. <laughs> oh, well. Let's see what I'm going to put this in here to catch some of this dripping. I tore a paper towel in half so that won't hurt. Here we go. Let's do another one. Let's get a, let's get a big red one. Let's try this one. Let's see what it does. And just like that, it's cut down and ready to roll. And right there we go. He, he usually takes a knife and trims the little edges off sometimes it's on it. Keep me being slowed down, you know. I'll just put this down in the bucket. Okay. Get ready again. I usually keep a few napkins or a wash rag handy. There it is. Okay, let's do another one. We'll do a few of these and then we'll start talking about something else. Try to get your course straight toward the end before going here toward that. If an apple's made kind of crooked, you'll have to try to lean it to the apple when you put it on this to where your other end of your course points toward that as close as possible. It don't have to be 100%, but the closer you got it to straight, the better off, the better the cut is. Uh, there's another one. Sometimes these apples, when they're very hard, kind of a little bit hard to pull the, the core off of it. I'm going to do one more, then we'll do some talking. All right, here we go. We're getting ready. To, we're starting to do some stuff now. We're giving orders, so I'm going to do one more, then we're going to, uh, we're going to see what we got going here. All right, hold on here. Put you on the tape here. We're gonna be on the tape. You watch. All right, we're taping again. Uh, continuing. Uh, we've got about a half of a, a big container of apples already done. All right. I was gonna tell you. Uh, I I usually do this part. Being uh, helps me in that part. Uh, trimmed a little bit of the edges on some of them that just don't get off. Sometimes it has a little bit on it. Uh, caused most of the time by a little soft place on the apple or or apple not being completely round. So anyhow, you can see it's pretty nice little apples. We get some sometime at uh, uh, excess of apples sometimes at the stores and stuff, you know. And we count them, you know. There's apple trees everywhere around where we live, all out through the country. And deers jump around and they eat apples. And, and when they used to uh, do number two, uh, the seeds uh, get scattered here and there through the country, I guess. Uh, and that promotes more trees, I guess. But anyhow, some people plant the trees. And anyhow, we're getting with this and a little bit soft, so it's going in the bucket to go out. I guess a deer will eat good this evening, I guess. Whenever they come around tonight, if they do. All right. See what we got. See how easy it's slick. It's a lot easier than peeling them by hand and corn them by hand. Imagine how long it will take. That's less than a minute, probably, preparing each apple. I'd say uh, combined between me and Ben as far as getting them ready to go to my wife Sharon and I for her to do the putting them in the jars, getting them ready for canning. I don't know how long it takes her every freak thing. 
She takes care of that, I take care of this. All right. It's a lot quicker. Now see, when, it, when the apple goes all the way through there, it's on this threaded shaft, and th with them pins in the end, when it goes through, it helps keep it from twisting around the inside, three uh, pins on the end. But it goes through, it goes through this right here, and that cores it, see? Forces it through, it's spring-loaded like, or I guess you'd call it, or pressure-loaded. Let's do one more, then we'll talk some. There's a little one, we got a little plate. Now if it skips anywhere, it'll skip right there just to hire, and I'll have to watch when it gets halfway. Alrighty. All right. What Ben does, he cuts these apples up in, in quarters like, you know, and gets them ready to send in. And once we get that full, we take them into his mommy and she puts them in jars, gets them ready for the counter. I was also going to tell you that this uh, apple core will work on any type of apples, you know. All apples are just about the same, no matter what. Uh, 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 brand or honey crisp or red delicious or yellow or whatever you know worst thing he'd get me dumped the the peelings uh, out in the yard uh something i'm gonna tell you you can get these uh i'm gonna show you again you can get these that i'm not paid by the people that make these and i forget what brand it is i've got a, still got the box to it in there but you can get these at rule king for a little over twenty dollars i think maybe twenty or twenty two dollars it's an apple core. What do they call it, Sharon? Apple pillar. Apple pillar, core, core and pillar. But anyway, uh, I never did try it on a, um, it's got a Home Home Pro, I think, on, on what's got on there maybe, uh, or I think something, Nor Pro or something. But anyhow, the name of it, and uh, I thought I'd throw that in. And we just about got the first pan of uh, apples ready. We put water and lemon juice in here. So when the apples goes in there, it won't be sitting in the air, be around them and them turn dark. Uh, Cause it don't take long once you get apples cut up in quarter pieces, you know, and uh, smaller pieces to go into the uh, cannon jars from the turn brown looking if they don't get to uh, work pretty quick. So anyhow, it slows down the, t the uh, brownness, the uh, apples turning brown before you get them in the counter. Okay, let's, I'm gonna do one more apple, then we're gonna rest a minute with it. Let me get this one. All right, like I said before, places like this, he he takes it the knife uh, and trims this off, and I'll pull that off sometimes, you know. He gets to places like that on the side, and then he quarters them, so. Uh, it's good when you got somebody helping you like this, because if you got a lot of apple, it takes a pretty good while to do this, and if you had to do this by hand, I don't know how long it take you. I've peeled apples for, for canning my hand before, and it ain't fun at all, you know. So, anyhow, I'm going to show you. We also got some Granny Smith apples we're going to do. And, and uh, we get a lot of uh, apples sometimes. And uh, I have planted apple trees twice, and uh, I didn't do much good with them. Uh, I've got one still grow, still alive, I think. A couple years ago I planted. I planted, planted Honeycrisp, that's a type of brand apple that I like um, the best for me, you know. And uh, the deers eat them down to the ground twice. I've got one, uh, anyhow, I planted uh, four of them, uh, two one year and they ate them down. And then one, a buck come by one night and horned them down and uh, rooked. Uh, and then the does will eat the young shoots and they won't just reach up and, you know, they, they, don't, they don't have hands to do it neatly. 
and reach up and grab a chute and rip the whole limb completely off of a young tree and anyhow that's how that panned out so I don't know if I'll end up with any uh, honey crisp uh, apple trees or if I'm going to change it anymore because got a lot of deer around where we live and and uh, they'll be happy tonight eating this snack on these uh, these apple peelings and cores and stuff. Let me try one more then we'll cut this down and uh, for now. I'm gonna take a little break. By the way, this is the second pan that we started on. We don't like a whole lot having it done. By the time she gets ready for it, we'll have it. We're gonna take a little break here in a minute. So, see how neat of a job that does on them uh, Granny Smith apples. Okay, this. We have one box of uh, bucket of scraps. I took you out, and this is the second bucket of scraps left. It's the second box that size of apples that we've uh, been uh, peeling with this automatic peeler. They call it automatic, but you got a hand operated crank. So, anyhow, there you go. Here at my buddies out here, they know where to get the apple peeling. They've been out here hunting for some apple peelings, and they ain't a bit afraid of me because they know I'll throw them something out there to them, see? Well, <laughs> come on over here. Let me throw you an apple. Well, hang loose. Hang loose. Let me get you one. I'm going to get them some. You watch it. I'm going to see something that tickle you. Well, anyhow. Yeah. Don't pay attention. This house is awful messy. See if they know what I got right here that I'm going to throw. Watch this. Here you go. Here you are. Where you are going? <laughs> They'll see you have to come running in a minute. Watch this. <laughs> Got some of these got places on them. Like that one that we couldn't use. They see them apples start coming. Watch what happened. These apple cores and when we start canning these these deers lose me. Watch this. Come here and get this. Come on. Come on, I got you some stuff here. Come on, let's come here and get these. Watch this. <laughs> They'll come right to you. I'm going to sit down here for a minute. And watch. They don't pay attention to me. They know I ain't going to bother them. <laughs> I told you they'd be coming after these apples. You smell them apples? One, two, three, four, five, six that I see. Time of scent of them apples goes out through there. Yeah, probably more than that. Did I throw your apple out there to you? <laughs> yeah, come here and get these apples. Come on. Come on. Come get these apples. Come and get them. Watch that over there. Come get these apples. Watch it. <laughs> get them. Eat them. Did I scare y'all too? I'm trying to get them maiden's attention. Ah, well, whatever. Hope y'all like this little video. Here's one coming around the house. He's one of last year's deers. He's not very old. Uh, like I might have said before, we can tell a deer is not hardly a year old or about a year old. Their head's not as long from back to front. So you got one, two, at least two of those deer is young. That one standing in the back, I was probably as old here as young one too. And I've not seen no real tiny uh, 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 land, uh, bambies yet. So. Sure. Get this one. 
Get that one. <laughs> kitty, 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 come on in this house. <laughs> There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. They smell them apples. Here they come. Come get these apples. Come on. Come here. <laughs> yeah, so much for that. I just thought I'd show you the last of the <coughs> a little bit of the cannon. Got jars in there getting the temperature. And uh and some ready to put in jars here. She's working on some of them, so it's mm -hmm. a little bit piled up here. It don't hurt nothing at all, I guess. I'll just show you how we go about this on our kitchen stove. Got the fan on on the microwave. Uh, well whatever. I thought I'd show you this.